So we know that Alpha Investment, according to himself, has a large position in Hasbro stock. Hasbro stock has not been doing good today. It has not been doing good a week ago. It's not been doing good a month ago. It's not been doing good six months ago. It's not been doing good a year ago. It's not been doing good five years ago. At no point in time, in the little button clicks that you can click on, right? Maybe if you click max, but that's really unfair because in the beginning, Hasbro was a new business. It has it actually gone up in price. It's just tanked and tanked and tanked. And now it is below for uh, $50, which is exactly what I think Bank of America said. No one believed them at the time because the stock was very high. <laughs> it was very high. Uh, what does this mean for the future of Magic the Gathering? I think they have to sell it. I think they have to sell Wizard of the Coast to survive. They're, con they're going to continue to tank. Let me read you some of this information on their quarterly finances. Revenue is $1.68 billion, which year over year is down 16.63%. Net income is down one, negative $128.9 million, which is year over year is down 256.81%. Diluted EPS is negative 94 and that is down 259.32%. And the net profit margin is negative 7.68%, which is down year over year 288.24%. So yeah, we are talking about a bloodbath. We are talking about one of the worst stocks. I have invested in very bad stocks before. Only one of them is comparable to Hasbro. Only one. Uh, the rest of them, you know, and that one is a crazy woman buying crypto all the time. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It is quite fascinating um, how low this stock has gotten, uh, even though they're selling Magic cards for $500 a set box now. $500 a set box. Crazy. Yet they can't turn a profit. They have continued to lose net income, diluted EPS, net profit margin is negative. And every year it becomes more and more and more negative. Um, at some point in time, this stock is just going to be a $10 stock. Uh, Bank of America says it could drop some more. And they've been right the whole time. So do not invest in something that you just because they make magic doesn't mean that their entire company is good. And it doesn't mean that you should listen to somebody online telling you, oh, I think I can read comments where people think Rudy has like 1 million stock stocks. He, they think that he's going to become the CEO of Hasbro. And they really do believe this. They're not like kidding around. They think that Rudy's just buying stock and stock and stock. I think the more likely outcome is this company goes to zero. <laughs> Honest to God, you look at the numbers. Nobody look at the numbers, man. I mean, I'm looking at numbers right now. Does any of that sound? There's negative 288.24% year over year net profit margin sound good to you. They're actually losing money. For every $100 they sell, they lose about $7.68. Again. The more products they're selling, the more money they're losing. It's unbelievable, right? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe they spend too much money on advertisement. Maybe they spend too much money on NPL. You know, social justice warriors. Got to hire them all. But there's, there is a problem. And if this problem continues, like how long? Let's see. Six months ago, the stock was. Uh, the stock dropped $33, so it was $83. Yeah, $83 and some change six months ago. It's lost almost half the blanking value. Six months ago, not six years ago, six months ago it lost. From six months until today, it lost 40% of its value. If it takes another 40% nodes dive, there won't be much left, man. And it's a poorly run company by people who are very greedy and really don't understand their customer base. So everyone stop buying magic cards. We got them. I tell you, we got those MFers, man.
they need us more than they need us. Let me let me put it this way for you. If we Magic players decide, hey, we're not going to buy your shitty $500 set boxes anymore. We want affordable products. We want reprints that make sense. Maybe reserve list reprints that make sense. We win. Guys, if you took out Magic the Gathering, this company would be bankrupt. I'm not kidding. If you took out Wizard of the Coast and you removed it from the calculations, the rest of the company would be... They're, they're already In the past six months, they're already down 40.33%. And remember, Wizard of the Coast is the only thing positive. So if you actually cut out Wizard of the Coast from it, this company is already bankrupt. From what I can tell. I don't know. I'm not an alpha investment. I'm not selling stocks to grannies, right? Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Hi, <laughs> guys.